Hello and welcome to Accounting Lecture and London Educators. Today is our Management Accounting Day. So it's our coffee class with Mr. Elias, Accounting Coffee Class. Uh, I'm a proud member of ACCA, so it's my coffee mug. Thank you, Claire, for saying good morning. Let's share the screen without delaying anymore. Let's get going. The book in front of you I'm using today is from AAT Level 2, Certificate in Accounting Principles of Costing. It's a very simple, a small book, only seven, eight chapters, basically. I'm ready with my pen and paper. Hope you are ready as well. So the chapter we're going to do is Variance Analysis, very popular for ACCA, SEMA, and um, other accounting courses, yeah? Within this 10, 15 minutes lesson, we'll try to finish the chapter, how nice and good it is. Here is the chapter. Variance, the meaning of variance is the difference, yeah? Between the actual and your budgeted. Yeah, let's assume we thought we're gonna spend, expense, spend 10 pound budgeted. But indeed, like uh, we're gonna go for a movie, Cineplex, yeah, in O2, London but we actually spent 12 pounds. So is it good or bad? Write it to me. We budgeted was 10 in terms of spending or and we spent in fact 12. So this is bad, yeah, thank you. In accounting, we call it adverse. If it's the other way around, it's good. Another example could be sales or other income. For example, sales, we thought we we're gonna sell 10. We indeed, which is budgeted. We indeed sold more than that, 15. So it's a good, good by five. Nice and good, yeah? Let's get into the chapter. Now, you see, if I ask you what percentage good or what percentage bad, yeah? So you always compare the variance with the budgeted figure. Here is the formula for you. Like budgeted, we thought it should cost us 10 sorry, 10, yeah, not 12, 10. Actually, it was 12. So this minus that divided by budgeted. So two divided by 10, am I understood? It's 20%, yeah? Two over 10, 20%, times by 100 you do, it's a percentage. It's good to know, many students, they struggle. 100 is the percentage, basically. So 20% bad, or five over, 10 is 50 percent good wow the earlier one so adverse is bad favorable is good now here's a bit of illustration in front of you just showing you how you're going to say favorable or adverse whether material labor expense whether different de departments these are all what cost yeah cost so whatever you thought budgeted is you thought it should cost you. Then you compare how much it did cost you. Then you say whether favorable or adverse, isn't it? Yeah. You thought 37,200 sh should cost you. It cost you more. So obviously variance is adverse. You say it A. A means adverse. And F means favorable. Like you thought 99,540 is going to cost you, but it cost you less. Good for you. Now, let's get into the deep more. Yeah, here is a good good activity. Uh, thank you for answering. I'm going to do the activity along with you. Mm, both all of us are going to do the activity together. Uh, your chance to ask me the questions anytime you want to. Yeah, it's a live recorded class. Ooh, the internet says not so good. <laughs> if you don't hear me anytime, let me know, yeah? Because, you know, the good and bad sides of uh, uh, online and modern teachings are like you can hear me from wherever you are in the world. You can see the lectures, but the bad sides are mm, it may disruption may happen. OK, sales. Let's talk about sales. We thought 85,320 going to we're going to sell, but we indeed came up with more variance. Is it favorable or adverse? Quickly tell me F or A. Write me. Come on. Yeah, F, fantastic. How about wood, metal, and paint? We thought 7,000 gonna cost, it cost more. Uh, this one is, tell me wood, especially wood, adverse, thank you. 
and this one um, we thought this much gonna cost metal but it costs less so obviously favorable if i ask you like favorable by taking my calculator on screen and uh, okay six thousand nine hundred we thought it co should cost us but it did cost six seven hold on oh my gosh look at this yeah we can't do that mistake in the exam or anyway <laughs> look at the claire or other students are answering me can you see the actual actual is this yeah and but it did this yeah 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 this one was favorable all right but we budgeted 8250 actually it cost less isn't it Ud? so how do you answer it now <laughs> yeah it's favorable thank you the mistake we've done don't do in the exam yeah that's a silly one but can lead you to a bigger mistake so read the question carefully yeah okay so that's that then now how about metal budgeted again we thought seven uh, six seven two zero should cost it cost us more so it's going to be yes adverse isn't it brilliant uh, so this uh, paint which we thought two one eight five should cost it cost us more well labor same goes with the labor i would like to do a percentage for example um, okay so a little bit of disruption um yeah a bit of disruption happened uh claire if you can hear me uh there was a slight disruption and other students can you please write back to me yeah do you hear me and see the, the screen um, so today is uh, we might shorter the lesson because of this internet yeah i hope you can hear me clear here yeah? and the students over there so let's do one percentage only uh maybe with the rent we thought budget is thirty thousand, but actually cost uh 1500 more so 1500 adverse so 1500 divided by thirty thousand. does make sense yeah that is a hundred so 1500 Okay, so do you hear me, Claire? A bit of disruption today. okay a bit of disruption happened but we are back so sorry Liz, can't see or hear <laughs> okay i hope you can see and hear now yeah it's been restored so if you can hear me and see me can please write back to me okay so i was showing thank you yes thank you um so 1500 was the adverse for rent and we'll compare with the uh, budget divided by thirty thousand times by a hundred so it's five percent you see five percent um adverse by that's what oh yeah here we go the value of the uh, variances then favorable favorable adverse you got to do and rent we found it's 1500 and it's adverse it's five percent yeah rest you should do i will reveal the answer in front of you here we go there look at this yeah rent is five percent you have adverse and 1500 and these are favorable favorable adverse that's how you do right nice and good yeah there are some a uh, little more like it, they said if it is variance which are of five percent significant or more we do the investigation so here in the answer one two three four five five items you need to do the investigations right yeah there we go so that's how you do the other activity and um, reporting a little bit of reporting how do you report like if it is income related variances whether five percent ten percent whatever or two percent sales manager material either purchase or production manager labor either production or hr manager expenses admin manager 
So a bit of uh, similar activity. I hope you can get the difference, like uh, five, uh, 450 is the uh, difference. Again, actual and forecast, and then uh, get the percentage. But another more important topic of this chapter, the chapter is finished, yeah, uh, which is cause and effect of variance. Why variance happened? What is the reason of the variances? Yeah, for example, material, favorable, or it could be adverse. Now, material, there are two types. One is price, one is usage, isn't it? Like price means you thought one unit should cost you two pound. Indeed, it costs you either more or less. Let's assume it costs you more, three pound. So it's adverse. Why? Maybe you have chosen better quality materials, isn't it? Yeah, that's one reason. Or maybe uh, the, pr meaning, uh, the price in the market has gone up. The in there is an inflation. Maybe there is shortage, isn't it? That's the reason. How about the usage? You thought you're going to use 5 kg, 5 kg in one unit. Uh, but um, indeed, you used 4 kg. Again, a bit of internet signal they're giving me. Um, so it's you saved more. One kg favorable. Hmm? You thought five kg should take you budgeted, but indeed you took four kg. One kg favorable. Yeah. So what is the reason? Maybe less wastage. So these are the reasons you must master. That's all in this chapter. That's the end of this chapter. Can you believe it that we have finished another 80 uh, chapter? chapter number eight in just 10, 12 minutes time. I think that's all for today. If you have any question, you can say, if it is not, we can say goodbye from our, let's say goodbye for today and see you some other day. Bye-bye.